So, does a Pogue carburetor really get 100 miles per gallon in a Chevy 350 V8 or a 460 cubic inch Ford? I don't know. I think it did. I think when this thing was invented back in the 1920s by Mr. Pogue, it did. The way a Pogue carburetor works is uh, the original one, the intake gases or the fuel would come in this line right here, whatever, after it had been. Um, after a venturi nozzle released into the air. So gas air fuel mixture come in here right here. And then it starts to spiral in until it gets right here to this middle point. And it would go through one of these pipes. Down into there. And then back into another canister where it comes out until it finally exits and goes into the engine. Now these two canisters, part of the reason for them being there is not only to mix the air fuel mixture uh, together so that it's like a 90 to 1 or 100 to 1 gas air fuel mixture, but also because these canisters are going to be inside of a larger exhaust box, which would be that right there. So you've got exhaust gases going in through that way and then exiting that way. Um, so these are inside of the hot exa exhaust gases. The hot exhaust gases are heating up the air fuel mixture and basically breaking the gas molecules into smaller and smaller molecules or you know chunks, vaporizing the gas more and more so that it's not you know little droplets of gas, it's more like individual mo uh, molecules of hydrocarbon gas. This, with this mixture, you can get a 90 to 1, 95 to 1, or 100 to 1 gas air mixture versus a 14 to 1, which is what auto mechanics and the auto industry want you to believe is, you know, the type of mixture that you have to have. Um, these two canisters with the spiraled sheet metal are basically Pogue's original design. There's a few other designs, like the guy with the, the gas tank under his hood. Um, saying, hey, you know, watch this, you won't believe it on YouTube. Um, I think that what he made actually does work to a certain extent. I think that when you when you can get the fuel into a hot vapor state, that's basically what allows the engine to run like that. Um, I haven't had a chance to test this, just for time restraint reasons, but I'd like to kind of share with, you know, a few things as to how I built this. After I rolled, this is just a piece of sheet metal that I rolled up and I put a gasket in the bottom to seal it. On the, on the very bottom and when I put the lid back on here I will have uh, four long bolts on each canister maybe more to secure to the top and I'll probably have plumber's putty along with the gasket on the top to make sure that those uh, the top of that sheet metal seals onto it um, but uh, the main problem lies getting these two canisters inside of a larger exhaust gas box or maybe designing some sort of some type of canister that fits directly over this so that I don't so I can just kind of drop this in but of course I've got you know the this large manifold coming into this canister so it's, it's kind of difficult to design something that would um, actually work that way you'd have to be I think you'd really have to have a pretty extensive machine shop to uh, design something like that but there's pictures of Poe carburetors that have been built on the internet that supposedly worked. I just need a little bit more time before I throw this, you know, into one working model where I can hook it up to my old Chevy truck or something. But um, I just wanted to give a general overview of how I made this. I rolled up the sheet metal. Um, I had started out with a long, long piece of sheet metal, maybe two feet long by about seven inches wide. Rolled it up the best I could using a, a, a some type of cylinder. Just did that for both, and then I cut out these tiny little uh, sheet metal spacers right here to make sure that I would have ample space, like half inch, half inch, half inch, half inch, half inch, until I got to the middle, just to make sure that that spiral is shaped and I don't have any choke points before the mix 
mixture, the gas air mixture gets to the middle, you know, it comes up and out of the top, do this thing, which this is kind of a crude design, it's basically all I had at the time, what I really need is a, you know, a round pipe, but I make most of my projects out of this inch and a half, and it's what I have lying around in the garage. But anyways, that's uh, the general gist of it, and um, I go, go ahead and combine some other pictures in this video too.